Okay. And it's recording. Yeah. Zoom, can you hear us? Is the Zoom working? I think it's yeah. not working. Okay. Does it? Can we get it? Yes. In the chat? Okay. Cool. Yes. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. Matthew Young said yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be <laughs> beginning shortly. Yeah, we'll be getting shortly. All right. Okay, so whenever you're ready, is that outside? Okay. I guess I'll just be starting right now. Is it still showing your screen share? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All good. So, we're start. okay, everybody, we're going to get started with the general meeting. So, uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to GameSpawn's first general meeting for winter quarter 2023. Um, I hope everyone is having a good evening because we got a lot of cool stuff to present today. Uh, the slide's not working. Okay. There we go. So um, before we get started, um, we have a Discord. So if you've already joined and you haven't done so already, feel free to introduce yourself in the introductions um, channel. And uh, if you have not joined, uh, you can take a picture of this slide right here. And we also have a QR code at the end of the presentation. So, so I'll just let that linger for like two more seconds. Okay, that's long enough. <laughs> okay, so for those who are new, uh, what is GameSpawn? So GameSpawn is a, what was that? Yeah, what's GameSpawn? What is it? Just kidding. Okay, GameSpawn is a game development club that aims to provide people um, with a like-minded community uh, in terms of developing uh, game development skills. So we do our best to help people create video games, uh, make friends, and get into the industry if they so choose. Uh, so here are the officers that make this club possible, uh, going around introducing our names, our position, and a video game that we like. Um, I'm David, I'm the president, and a game that I like is uh, Dark Souls. That is one game that I like. Hi everyone, I'm Brad Mesh. I'm the vice president. That is my Discord user <laughs> right there. And I love Minecraft. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm the treasurer. Uh, my name is Bowen. Um, the game I am fond of is Tetris. Yeah. Hello everyone, I am the project and workshop coordinator. My name is Jasmine. Um, and one game I'm super fond of would be Skyrim. Yeah. Hi, I'm not Everly, but ev um, but in uh, Everly. for Everly in Everly Place. <laughs> in loving um, memory, <laughs> she's not dead. We promise. We promise. In, uh, in no. Everly's Place, I will be introducing her as the event coordinator. She uh, she does amazing stuff, uh, and she also has base taken video games. Yes. Greetings, gamers. <laughs> I am Hal, the webmaster of GameSpot. My favorite video game. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger looking good game yeah. dating sim. Hi, I'm Amina. I'm Amina Penny Fial, and I am the social media coordinator. Uh, my favorite game right now is Hades. I already love the second one. All right. Uh, thank you to all the officers for introducing themselves. Um, so just a really quick thing before we get into it, uh, the club is going to start transitioning to more in-person hybrid events. Uh, Discord will still remain our main form of communication, but um, we are starting to move to more in-person events this upcoming quarter, so just letting everyone know. Uh, let's see. Wait, hold on. Can I move this camera out of the way real quick? Is... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like blocking the... <laughs> I think you can just drag it out. Oh, there we go. Minimize it. Okay. Okay. So, GameSpawn provides workshops to help uh, programmers, composers, artists, and writers gain experience. 
uh, we want to make if you want to make something and you don't have much experience or you don't know where to start, uh, workshops are a great place to get started in terms of game development. So uh, here are some of the workshops that we're going to be running this quarter. Um, the one to meets will be sent out after the general meeting and anyone and everyone is welcome to come out to these workshops. We're going to be talking about them more in depth. Uh, so yeah, fill out the one to meet if you're interested. Um, and then if, if you're interested in pitching a project, we're also going to be sending out a team leader one to meet uh, after this meeting. So, um... We're going to start off with Intermediate Unity. For those of you guys who attended Beginning Unity, you should definitely show up to Intermediate. Um, the workshop host will be Garrick. Um, I think Matt's also going to be helping him out, so if you're familiar with Matt, feel free to drop in and say hello. This will be weekly starting week three. So, like I said, if you already have a basic understanding of Unity, this workshop will be a great place to gain more knowledge um, when it comes to that. Um, and it's basically going to be a continuation of the intro to Unity workshops we ran last quarter. If you guys want to catch up on that, Garrett did post videos in workshop resources, so feel free to check that out in the meantime. Um, this Acebrite workshop will be run by our alumni, Lelia. She was our former president of last year. Um, and she's really good at pixel art. So if you're interested in learning how to do pixel art or you don't really have, like, very good fundamental art skills, I would highly suggest going because she does touch upon some fundamentals in her workshop. This is also going to start during week three. Um, and yeah, this is basically open to uh, beginners, but also those who, who are just interested in uh, 2D pixel art or want to make art for the, their own games. And um, a, we're going to have a GitHub seminar in week four that I'm going to be hosting and it just runs through the basics of using GitHub and GitHub Desktop to ensure that you don't lose your project like I have in the past. <laughs> it's a good form to learn version control and just backing up your project, um, especially when you're collaborating with others. So come out if you uh, want to learn the basics for that. And yeah, uh, Windomy also posted after. So the professional development seminar is actually new and it's run by Izzy, who was our former vice president of last year, she's now alumni, and Donovan, who was our former outreach coordinator and he is also now alumni. Um, but basically they're just gonna teach you guys how to prepare for the workplace by going over resumes and cover letters. So I think that is just definitely just open to everyone. Um, you don't have to have any experience in writing your resumes. Um, so yeah, definitely go attend and uh, Fill out the when to meets for that. And then finally, we'll be having the team leader workshop that's going to be run by David and I. Um, if you plan on pitching a project, you must either attend uh, the team leader workshop or you're going to have to watch the recording um, because you guys, if you want to pitch a project, you'll have to take the team leader quiz before you submit your pitch. You'll be submitting your pitch around the same time, but you can also have us check it beforehand along with your game design doc. Um, I highly suggest you reach out to either me or the other officers if you would like us to go over that because a lot of times people tend to submit it thinking it's fine but then we're like no this is kind of long or you can cut down on this or you can improve it in several different ways so yes please attend if you want <laughs> if you want to run a workshop I mean run a project yes Okay, so um, events and socials for this quarter. So like usual, we're going to be running tabling. Uh, just come out and say hi. Uh, we run it on Wednesdays from 10 to 1 by the bell tower. Uh, <laughs> we'll also be running hack night as per usual. Um, you can get together with members and uh, work on games or just hang out. Uh, those are going to be on Wednesdays from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at Rivera Library. Uh, room 208 and 209. And uh, for game socials, um, let us know in the uh, games channel what games you'd like to play so that we can organize those. And also, um, just if you ever want to play uh, any games and you don't have anyone to play with, you could just drop by the games channel um, and then just ask if anyone wants to play. Feel free to ping people. Yeah, feel free to ping people. We have, <laughs> we have, a, we have a lot of rules. Uh, and our tech talks, where you can meet professionals in the industry, um, and they could talk about their game experience in terms of entering the industry or working in the industry. 
uh, we have a lot of alumni, uh, so that's really cool. Just come out and, uh, you know, uh, hear people, hear experienced people talk. So yeah, that's going to be on a to be decided basis. Um, and our game jams. So game jams are basically events where you can get together with friends and then create a game within a time limit. Uh, these are a great way to test um, create, like game creation without too much commitment. Um, you can post and look for groups in the game jam finder channel. Um, and yeah, they're just like a really good way to get some experience, um, hang out with friends and have a good time. And also speaking of game jams, the 2023 Global Game Jam is coming up really soon. Um, it is the biggest game jam of the year. Uh, you're basically going to have 48 hours to work with people um, in Riverside, and there's also going to be a lot of people, different people from across the world working on this uh, game jam. It's going to be uh, from Friday, February 3rd to Sunday, February 5th. Uh, we're going to be posting more information on that later on, but uh, it's going to be in Winston Chum Hall, right? So, yeah, Winston Chum Hall. Yeah, we'll so in person, hybrid. you'll be in person. Yeah, so keep an eye on this. This is a really big event. Invite your friends. Come out. There's going to be food and stuff. Uh, and of course, Pitch Night. Uh, we're going to be having this week three. If you want to join a game project or you're interested in leading a game project, uh, come out and uh, pitch your game. So that's going to be on uh, Friday, January 27th. OK, so projects. Uh, I guess I'll just keep, keep talking on this one. Oh, yeah. So in order to run a project, like I said earlier, um, you have to go to the team leader workshop or watch a recording um, because we we go over a lot of like uh, information as to like leadership, how you should run, what you should expect and what people, what members uh, expect from you um, because it's definitely, um, I don't want to say hard, but I feel like a lot of people go into it um, thinking it'll be easy when it is a bit of a challenge. Um, but yeah, so the reason why we ask you guys to submit um, like your pitches and game design docs for review is because we are able to give you guys good feedback. So everyone should be on the same page when it comes to leader expectations, how to create a proper pitch, plus how to create a game design doc. And by letting us review it before you pitch, um, we can offer a lot of feedback to help improve it and increase your chances of attracting more people to your team, as well as like preventing you for over, from overscoping um, or crashing and burning um, the week after you pitch. Um, number two, we wanna make sure your pitch is short and sweet and not a 20 slide long, pre uh, 20 slide long presentation. It should be kept under five minutes. And we wanna make sure that any visuals in your pitch, such as audio, um, can be heard through Zoom. Hello? Okay. Do you want, do you want it or? Okay. Um, so we have different kinds of uh, project formats. Um, if you're a beginner, I highly, highly, highly recommend you start with either a game jam or a quarter long project as your um, first project. So even though you're only going to have like eight ish weeks to develop something, it forces you to create something very simple and it's going to help you pick up the skills you're going to need later to create like an even better project. Um, so you're going to get hands-on experience and everyone on your team is going to get to learn something at their own pace. Um, and your goal isn't going to be to create your dream game the first time around. So don't try to create like Overwatch 2 or Minecraft 2. Um, like the whole point of it is to start something simple to gain the leadership, maybe in any art skills, music, programming, or writing skills you'll need to tack or tackle um, to tackle something further along the road. And if you've never led a game dev project for and you want to get your feet wet start here um, we also have year-long projects and uh, these are going to be these are dedicated to um these are for already dedicated game devs so if you would like to do a year-long like talk to us about that but we're, we're going to get into more detail when it comes to these uh projects in the team leader workshop and here are some previous projects that uh, alumni have done they're pretty great um, but yeah, if, by the way, if anybody here is a project lead, let us know if you would like your project to be included in this, because we would love to update it. So to start off, we have Brahma, please, um, led by Zoe. Um, she just goes by Zoe in the server. <laughs> um, it's a romance and fantasy survival novel. 
um, survival visual novel based on uh, Celtic and Irish mythology. It's story based with choices you make affecting your survival and or relationships. Uh, the game has three dateable and a minimum of three endings per route, including death endings. So that's fun. Uh, me and David did the art for this game. It's old art, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> UC Girls was led by our previous president, Lelia Lin, um, during her early years at GameSpawn. Um, so that was probably like a good two, three years ago that she made this game. Um, but yeah, in this visual novel, you get to date humanized forms of the UC schools. So that's fun. My Nonsense, My Nonsense Cat was also led by our previous uh, president. Lily Lynn in her third and fourth years. Um, it's a great example of progression that some students make in this club. Uh, in this game, you are a high school student, Corin, who journeys with her fearless feline companion in search of the portal that connects their home to this isekai style of world. It's a tactical turn-based RPG that reminisces the classic uh, Game Boy Fire Emblem series and centers on themes of identity and friendship. Codename Null is like, the perfect example of what a group of experienced seniors can create in this club because this group that made this game they were all seniors or alumni um so this was led by game spawn alumni ev chen during her fourth year it's a third person shooter where you play as kairos a legion soldier tasked to take down a powerful mafia leader his mission is to defeat the various threats in his path using special time manipulation technology to overcome his enemies you get to explore the crevices of Elysium, a future futuristic city hiding the secrets of immortality. This game is also one of the few games uh, that has voice acting in it. So that's cool. If you're a voice actor or you want to try practicing voice acting, there are games that do require those or do need them. So this is Sketch. <laughs> he was led by Wes. Um, <laughs> it's not much information. <laughs> but um, this is the first game that uh, a game spawn project uh, that a project lead ever published to Steam. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's like a 2D platformer, um, and it takes place in a wor world where you have to draw like little um, you draw the things to kill your enemy. I forgot the word, but um. Yeah, so check it out. The projectile, the, the shapes. Point. Yeah, that. And then you kill the enemy. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> he's also running a, he's also, um, he's currently doing another project called Augment, and it's going to be like Chess by Wes. Anyways, but yeah, here's, <laughs> here's a link to our page. If you guys would like to check out like any other previous projects, because I didn't, we didn't, uh, if we were to go over all of them, that would take up like a lot of time, but there are some honorary mentions. Um, Silver Sun was made in RPG Maker, so if you're interested in making a game in RPG Maker, that's totally doable. Witches of Luminor, another visual novel made in Renpai. Uh, same goes for Mechanical Magic, which was also made in RPG Maker. That was Unity. It was in Unity? Yeah. I thought he made it in you RPG. It. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. RPG Maker, then Unity. Would you like yeah. to? So this will be relatively quick um, in terms of resources. Um, if you need help with the project, you can come out to Hack Night. Uh, you could email us or you could, um, don't be afraid to ping us on Discord. The Coming to Hack Night and pinging us on Discord are probably gonna be the fastest and best methods in terms of contacting us. But yeah, if you need help with the project, don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, so wrapping up this um, presentation, uh, we have a pitch night on week three. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to have more info online in the announcements with uh, all the one to me information coming out soon. So and here is the uh, QR code that I mentioned beforehand. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. Join the Discord. Woo. Yeah, join the Discord. I'm sure you guys it's are already <laughs> So, yeah, right. thank you for coming, everybody. Uh, Yeah. So if, if anyone has any questions or if you if y'all just want to talk and hang out, then uh, yeah, do you feel guys free have to... any questions for us or raise your hand, say it out loud. Everybody good? We also have our new jails here. Oh, that's oh, yes. true. Oh, yeah, if you're a jail, stand yeah, up. If you're a jail, stand up. Raise your hand, oh. stand up. <laughs> say hi. Oh. Hello. Let's go. You're our junior officers who are helping us out with club stuff. 
Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, meeting adjourned. Talk amongst yourselves and have fun. Yeah. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you. Can I get a picture of Yeah, picture, picture. Okay, if you got a picture, please line up here, like, move around.